Welcome to the S Word Live. It is Wednesday, 12.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and we are going to talk sales, baby. The S Word. Shh, don't say it out loud. What is the one factor that 99% of the women that I work with get wrong in sales and how you can do it right without being a sleazeball or what I like to say, a douchebag. <laughs> What's up, Mindy? <laughs> Who here else? No, Mindy might be able to relate. Is this just an 80s term to be like, he's a DB? No? Douchebag? Anybody? Carrie, maybe you know. Have you ever heard the term, he's a DB? <laughs> he's a douche okay, I might have taken, there's seriously, this is just water. Maybe I wish it were vodka, but even then I would just be taking a nap. So it's just water, but I'm just acting a little silly. I love Wednesdays. I love connecting with you and I love this topic because this one little thing, it will change. If you just use this one thing, it will change the number of your bottom line this week. I guarantee it because this one little thing so many people miss. And whenever I work with this on my clients, they immediately see an increase in their money when I tell them this one thing. So what is it? Urgency. In the world of sales, urgency is king. So how do you create urgency without being douchey or like a, you know, a sleaze? So, um, you know, because there's a lot of that out there. We don't like those people. So, <clears throat> okay, here's how it goes. I did take notes because I get a little crazy sometimes. So, <clears throat> The, what is urgency? It's a reason to do it now. So type yes in the comments if you've ever responded to a reason to do it now, like Kohl's cash. Hmm, type yes in the comments if Kohl's ever got your money. <laughs> or a 13 hour sale at Macy's. Ah. Or and now, some of you may not be old enough to remember this, but the blue light special at Kmart, where the blue light would go off above the bin of like socks, and they're like, you know, nine cents, not 99, like nine, nine cents while the blue light is going. <laughs> so the reason to do it now. So many amazing, intelligent, wonderful women that I work with, they're just like, well, I just forget that part. Okay, great. Let's fix that. <laughs> it's a deadline. It's this price is good until June 8th. I'd be happy to, to, to give you that price for this service or this product until June 8th. That's it. So it doesn't have to be hard or upsetting. It could be one sentence like that. So <clears throat> another thing, I don't know, we have Krispy Kreme by us in Detroit and this particular Krispy Kreme right by my house Hey, Lisa, how you doing? Damn you, Coles. I know. <laughs> Coles gets them. <laughs> that Coles cash, right? I got to go today. It expires. <laughs> that is urgency. That is you reacting and responding in, a, in an excited, good way for what Coles has injected into their sales, which is Coles cash. So what is your version of Kohl's cash? Like I said, it could be one sentence. Um, Krispy Kreme, like I was saying, has this big um, sign out front and when it's lit up, that means they're making the fresh donuts inside. We live by one of those that has like a factory inside and the trucks are all in the parking lot so they actually ship it to all the grocery stores around us and um, you, if, if that is lit up and they're making them, you get a free donut when you go in. When you go in. Do you think you just get the free donut and you're like, peace out, thanks for the free donut? No, of course not. But I, can t I cannot tell you how many times we, we were driving by, and of course Ben now knows that when it's lit up, it means that. And uh, to go, we're like, oh, we'll just go in and get our free donut. And it's, we're just lying to ourselves, lying to ourselves. Mindy, last call, last call for alcohol, right? How, <laughs> you know, the first image that came to mind, Mindy, was like, barfing on the bar because I took a shot of tequila or something horrible, right? Those days are long gone. I, I would like die <laughs> if I did that again, but totally last call or limited edition or, you know, what all the, we see it all the time. So why are we, why do we feel bad about doing it? 
It's not sleazy, it's true. I only have X amount of hours in the day. I only offer one-on-one -on -one services in this package to this many people. I'd be happy to give it to you if you're able to, you know, decide by this day, you know, by June 8th. That doesn't have to be like right now. I'm not trying to high pressure anybody. I'm just trying to let them know that it's not whenever or if ever. So <clears throat> it's a deadline. It's an expiration date. Exp who checks expiration dates when they go to the grocery store? I don't want the old salad. I don't want the, <laughs> right? I don't, I want, okay, so Mark and I went to Bora Bora on our honeymoon. And I mean, it was a really nice re resort, but he doesn't like fish. And I was just like, well, you know, I'll take some, I want some snacks to bring back to the room. It was like one of those all-inclusive um, joints. And um, we were eating these, those like little packets that you peel off with like the breadstick and like the fake cheese. Okay, so we got married in 1999. The ch we, we were like three days in and we looked at the pack and the expiration date was 1996. Yeah, that was fun. We did not get sick because I'm sure it's not even real food, but expiration dates you want to have an expiration date so that people can act by a certain time it's happening now and not later right RSVP RSVP to a party by this date but who is bad at RSVPs a lot of people so it's oftentimes you have to nudge them again right so if you have like I just I just hosted a, a baby sprinkle for a, one of my best friend and I didn't even put an RSVP because I figured no one's gonna respond anyway. So what I did is I just made sure to ask them again, you're coming, right? Okay, great. Or plan for more. Timers, I see a lot of people in the online space, you know, they have those fancy timer plugins. Those are great, but you don't need to invest. I don't even know how much they are because I haven't even looked into it, but I see the validity of it. This is the timer, it's good now, but it's not, it's not good later. Like you have this many minutes until it's done. The point is, is it has to come from a place of genuineness. It can't be BS, you know? And that's how I kind of feel maybe a little bit about the plug-in timers, but that's okay. That's my own personal opinions. The point is, they put a timer on it, congratulations. That is great. Um, oh, who else has ever had a friend or, you know, a couple uh, that got engaged and never set a wedding date? And then they never got married. Not that that's a bad thing, but I have lots of friends that are still engaged. I mean, they've been engaged for like 20 years. <laughs> Set a date. Why is it so important? Because <clears throat> we are all inundated with lists of things to do. With things, lists of things we want to do. Like, it's not just lists like, oh, I got to get to it. It's things we actually want to do. Hey, Annie. Hey, Jenny. How you doing, ladies? I'm so happy you're all here. Use this. Use this. Um, Give any example. Hey, Elizabeth's here too. We made a summer bucket list when Ben started his summer break. Who here has made a summer bucket list? Type yes in the comments if you made a summer bucket list for your activities that you want to do with your family this summer. Write yes in the comments if yes, you made a summer bucket list. Mm. I did. So <clears throat> at the beach listening to you. Oh, uh, wow, you're at the beach listening to me? That is so cool. Oh, I wish I was there. I'm gonna splash some water, the sea air. Love it. <laughs> Woohoo! Yes, made the list. Excellent. So here's what happens to our summer bucket list. The first week, we did like six things on the list. We're gonna go here, we're gonna go there, we're gonna do this, we're gonna do that, and we did. Now we're like two weeks into summer break, and what do you think it's happening? We went on a bike ride. That wasn't on the list. Um, we went to the movies, but that wasn't on the list, <laughs> right? So what's gonna happen the last two weeks of summer? We're gonna do the rest of the list <laughs> because that is the expiration date. That's how you, that's humanity. This is a list of things we wanna do, but it's human nature to do a lot all at first and then let it go blah, and then quickly do the rest right before it ends. So this is also the sales cycle of launches, right? The sales summer camp. Like three, a third of the people bought the first day and then one and then one and then one and then the rest bought literally the last minute. That's human nature. But I, but you have to put a deadline on it so that whether you're an early, you know, early adapter or you slide in just as the buzzer creaks that you appeal to everyone. You gotta have a deadline. Put a deadline on it for yourself. Put a deadline on it for your clients. Put a deadline on it. Create that urgency so that everybody wins. Because 
even if the person wants to buy what you have they get busy and if they're like well I'll do it I'll do it I'll get to it I'll get to it I'll get to it, it happens to me all the time they never get to it because they're just busy give them a reason to do it now Carrie says my workshops always sell that way one or two at first and then eight on the last day hundred percent you gotta have a deadline this is also my issue with evergreen products but we'll get into that another time evergreen products don't love them but anyway so gotta have a deadline don't fight it embrace it from the field, this is an, and this is not something that is just true for the online space. This is true for everywhere we go. We used Kohl's as an example. We used RSVPs to parties as an example. And I'll tell you, in the field, every territory I ever got, the last day in the territory was always the best day. Why? Can you come back tomorrow? No, sir, I can't. I'm getting moved to a different territory. Are you sure? I just have to talk to my partner. Can you, I'll call him. I, I can't come back. Okay, I'll call him right now. Right, so what I figured out pretty quickly was that I was gonna make every day the last day of my territory <laughs> because people need a reason to do it now. They see you, they like what you, what you have, you made an offer, they're like, okay, and you're like, great. And then if they don't do it, it's because you didn't give them a deadline. You say, great, I'm gonna send you a link, or great, are you ready to get started now? I can send you a link right here. Let me make sure you got it. Okay, great. Did you get the link? Great. Well, okay, okay. And I'll say, okay, great. Well, that link is going to be available and able to be purchased and through tomorrow at noon, right? So like, make sure that they know in their head that there is an expiration date. Um, <laughs> Carrie says, I love evergreen items, kind of like toilet paper. Got to have it sometime. <laughs> yeah, but it's always good to say, okay, so items that are always available, open and close, a promotion for them so that they know that there's a date when it's available and maybe a date when it's not available. So how are you using that one factor in your business? You know, it, I, I really want to encourage you to use it today. Um, you know, when we talk in the group, I have an amazing group of amazing people, Entrepreneurial Parents Movement, we dive deeper into this topic every single week. And tomorrow is my S word live after party. So I want you to come into the, to the group if you haven't joined already, we're gonna dive deeper into urgency and the other factors that put money in your pocket and lead to sales tomorrow in the S word live after party. Carrie says, you're brilliant Renee, thank you. Seriously, the info you give is stellar. Thank you very much, can I do it for direct sales? Well, Jenny, I think so, because you, I'm sure there's limited edition lipstick colors. There's, um, you can offer a special service to go along with a product. If you buy this product or this bundle now, I'll throw in this. Jenny, does that sound good to you? So you can design a special offer that you're willing to give as a bonus. See you guys in the group, and, and Jenny, come on. I know you're already in the group. Come on in the group, and we'll talk more about it tomorrow, or message me. Thank you so much. Happy Wednesday. Happy Sally.